So you want to get a job in the tech world. That is a great choice. Tech jobs often provide plenty of flexibility in terms of remote work, have great benefits and also some of the most amazing salaries out there. For most people, landing a tech job means living the dream. But there's just one problem here, and that is breaking into the tech industry can be a bit daunting. Bachelor degree this, 5 to 10 years experience that, the requirements on most tech job listings might make you think that you don't have a single chance. But that is not true, and we're here to prove it. We spent about a week sorting through various certificates to bring you the 10 best entry-level tech certificates that can actually help you land your first job in tech without a degree or any experience. Now, if you're starting off from zero, you'd probably benefit from some guided learning before you get into the tougher stuff. And that is why we're going to start easy and then get into the more exotic and unique certifications as we go. First up, we have the Google Project Management Certificate. It's available on Coursera, and Coursera is a major player in this space. So here is generally how their process works. You can enroll in any of their entry-level tech courses and participate in them for free for 7 days, and after that they cost around 49 bucks per month, but they do also offer financial aid, and you can enroll in it for free as well. All of their courses are work at your own pace, so you can basically finish them as quickly or slowly as you want to. Just keep in mind that the faster you complete a course, if you're paying for it, you'll pay less overall. This course will prepare you for success in an entry-level project management position by teaching you the foundations of systems all project managers deal with on a daily basis. If you don't know how Agile and Scrum work, or even what they are for that matter, then this is a fantastic place to start. You will also learn how to effectively document project efforts, communication and stakeholder management. Coursera estimates that this course will take you around 6 months to complete if you can spend 10 hours per week, which should be pretty easy for most people to commit to, that is only around 2 hours per day from Monday to Friday, and then you can even have your weekends off. But the next one is also going to be from Coursera, and it is the Google IT Support Certificate. This course will teach you the most in-demand skills in the realm of IT support, such as learning how to use various operating systems like Linux, you'll learn command line interfaces, and give you a fundamental understanding of computers. You will also become acquainted with daily IT support tasks like troubleshooting, networking, computer hardware assembly, installing different programs, and how to navigate difficult customer service situations. And that last part is priceless knowledge because sometimes customer service can seem impossible. But with training from Google and in this program, you'll be much better prepared to face anything a clueless computer user could throw at you. And if you can spend just 10 hours per week to do this, you can have this course wrapped up in less than 6 months. Most people that I know complete this in like 1 to 2 months, so you can definitely do this one faster. And the next one is going to be one of Coursera's most popular courses in this entire industry, and it's the Google Cybersecurity course, which is dedicated to, well, teach you cybersecurity. You'll get to know how to protect networks and keep company data safe, including how to identify and neutralize common threats and mitigate these vulnerabilities. And over the course of these lessons, you'll get hands-on experience with Linux, SQL, Python, as well as security information and event management tools what people in the field call as SEIM. Now according to Coursera, this 8 core series is going to take roughly 6 months if you can spend 7 hours per week, which definitely isn't that long either. Next up we have the CompTA certificates, and these next certificates are the gold standard for people looking to break into tech jobs at the entry level, and they're all provided by CompTA. They do offer some training courses, but those are pretty expensive, so most people that I know either seek third-party training, or they just learn from YouTube or some other place, and then they actually study for the exams. The one I'm going to talk about first is the a certificate, and CompTIA's a certificate is for those looking to showcase an all-around understanding of tech concepts, and it's split into two separate exams. The 1101 exam will test your knowledge on mobile devices, networking, hardware and virtualization and cloud computing, while the 1120 exam will test you on operating systems, security, software and operational procedures knowledge. It is worth noting that you must pass both certifications to get the final well, certification, but having it sets you up for a multitude of jobs. You can get jobs in help desk, IT support, and a lot of other jobs that use the kind of fundamental IT knowledge. 
To take the exam, CompTIA charges $253 for one attempt at each 90 minutes, and there's actually 90 questions in the exam, which is definitely a rapid fire round. And you do need to pay it again if you need to retake the test. So I would definitely make sure that you go in fully prepared. And if you score less than 720 out of 900, you're not going to qualify for the final certification. There are also some exam guides which you can check out that can definitely help make sure that you pass because you don't want to, you know, take a risk on this one and risk losing all the money. The next one is going to be the Network Plus Certificate. And this one is going to test your knowledge on network concepts, implementation, operations, security, as well as troubleshooting. With this certification, you'll be prepared for jobs like network administrator, sysadmin, and data center technician, and technically just about anything dealing with networks. But don't make the mistake that this is something that you can just breeze through and go in unprepared. And if you don't score again 720 out of 900 on the first try, then you might have having to pay for it again. But here the exam voucher is actually more expensive and it's around $369. It might depend on your region, I'm not exactly sure, but it's still a lot of money. And that definitely means that you're going to want to hit those books hard before you even think about attempting this one. And the final of the CompTIA's trio that I want to talk about is the Security Plus. This one is all about cybersecurity, which is really, really trendy right now, and you can make a lot of money in this field. And this one is going to test your knowledge on general security concepts, security operations, program management and oversight, architecture, and finally threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigation measures. Having this certificate will mean that you have some of the skills needed for jobs like penetration tester, network security analyst, and network security operations. You'll need a score of 750 out of 900 to pass this exam, and the exam voucher is again the most expensive of the three at $404. The next one I'm going to talk about is one that isn't mentioned that often in these types of videos, but I do think that it's still worth mentioning, and it is the ITL4 Foundation Certification. ITL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library, and it's basically a framework for service management. The ITL4 certification shows that you have functional knowledge in many different areas of IT service management, including best practices, guiding principles, governance, and service value chain. Here, it's actually worth considering that there are some other options, for example, like Agile and other things that you can learn and actually get certified in as well. But the thing is that there are not as many people that are certified in, for example, ITL. And that is both a plus and a con because there might be more companies looking for agile skills, but if you do have the ITL certification, you could actually compete more on those specific job listings that have those skills listed. And all of these skills will make you much more valuable for any number of IT related positions, but especially those that actually use the ITL framework, which unfortunately, or perhaps not unfortunately, not all companies do that. And all you need to do to get this one is pass the 60 minute 40 questions exam with at least 65%. This one is going to be a little bit more expensive and if you do want to study on your own, you can take the ITL4 exam for around 650 bucks through PeopleCert. There are some other websites that you can check out as well, but it's generally speaking going to be in that range. Or you can spend even more money if you want their e-learning bundle with all like the self-guided materials and learning materials in general. But this one is really something that I wanted to mention because ITL can be valuable skill, but it's also important to compare this with other options again, because it is a very expensive certification and it is very specific as well. So it's mainly going to be valuable if you're specifically looking for those types of roles that have this skill listed. The next one I'm going to talk about is the Cisco CCNA. For networking-focused IT aspirations, the Cisco CCNA certification is another great option. To become a Cisco Certified Network Agent, you'll need to know network fundamentals, IP connectivity and services, security fundamentals, automation, programmability, and some more stuff. And you'll have to pass a two-hour exam and the cost is around 300 bucks. Like CompTIA, Cisco does offer some trainings for their certifications, but they can get very expensive. So like new MacBook expensive, and it's in my opinion better to do your own self-guided study here, but just make sure that you're using their preparation guides and that you're actually prepared so that you don't have to retake and, you know, spend the money again. Getting a certification can definitely be worth it, but you don't want to spend more money than you have to. Now we're going to talk about Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals. 
And this one is focusing on cloud computing, which is a growing sector with tons of demand, and Microsoft Azure is one of the biggest players in that industry. Now, thankfully, Microsoft actually makes it pretty easy to get acquainted with Azure and even start a career with it. And they have a Microsoft Azure fundamental certification that costs only 100 bucks for a 45 minute exam. And they also provide free exam prep through different courses on, for example, learn.microsoft.com. And this is only the first step in getting a job with the Microsoft Azure skills, but they do make it really easy to get all the certifications that you need. They're kind of divided up into small sections and each exam is only $99. So you could get the full suite of Azure certifications for less than some of the individual certs that we talked about. And these ones are also really, really valuable for all sorts of cloud jobs. The next one we're going to talk about is the GIAC Information Security Fundamentals. And this one is also for anyone looking to break into the cybersecurity field, whether you're already a tech professional in a different field or somebody who's just beginning their tech journey. And this exam covers many different aspects of cybersecurity, including terminology, networking, security policies, and also an introduction to cryptographic principles. This is a fantastic place to start if you want to get into cybersecurity, but unfortunately it is far from cheap and you're looking at nearly a thousand bucks for attempting the two hour 75 question exam and that is definitely the most expensive on this list, but it does look fantastic to recruiters and businesses looking for people in related positions. The important thing here is that you don't necessarily need one of these expensive certifications and I just wanted to show you a couple of different options depending on your budget but make sure that it's something that's actually useful for you because a certification can be really useful but it can also be a complete waste of time if you're spending money on something that's not going to bring you the actual benefits that you want. It's also important that it's an industry recognized certification and that it's actually valuable for the specific jobs that you're looking for. Let me know if you want a video focusing on more low cost alternatives and actually perhaps even free certifications in some cases, and I'll make one of those as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.